Well, hey there, welcome to Presto Paul TV. I'm your host, Presto Paul. On this channel, I teach you the best tricks, tips, and techniques on how to do magic for beginners. We have a blast around here. As a matter of fact, our motto is right over there. You gotta have fun. You'll live longer. We're gonna have a blast today with this really cool little illusion that you'll be able to do in just a few minutes practice. Let's get right into the magic. So today I'm gonna to share with you a really, really cool illusion that you'll be able to do. I'm going to attempt to have this half dollar go through the center of this playing card. As you can see, it does not fit right now, but that's okay, because we're gonna do a little bit of magic in a moment. But I want you to see the coin go inside the card right there so you can see it. I'm gonna push it down so that you see that the coin cannot fit through. If you were here, I would have you give a little tug on that uh, coin right there to show you that it will not go through. So watch carefully as I place it in here, just like this. Once again, I'll show you the coin going down inside the card. And if I get it just right, right about there, and give a little pull, it'll melt right through that tiny hole, which seems impossible, but yet, with a little bit of magic, you too can do this cool illusion. Check out the secret coming on up. So I bet you're wondering how in the world that works. I'm gonna show you exactly how that works, but first we have to build this little card here and the gimmick that goes along with it that is super easy to do. Check out this close-up view from my point of view on how to make your little gimmick here, and I'll be right back with you after that and show you how to put this all together. All right, so here's everything you're going to need to build this gimmick for the coin through the card trick. I prefer to use face cards, as you will see in a moment here when we cut. We're gonna cut along a line, which is gonna help camouflage some of the dirty work we're gonna be building here. Very simple thing to do. Uh, I like using the court cards, like I said, a jack, whatever you want. You're also gonna need a nickel. That's gonna help you draw the hole in the center of this card in just a moment. And I use a half dollar for the trick. If you don't have a half dollar, you can use a quarter. Now you might wanna make the hole a little bit smaller than the nickel and a little bit bigger than the dime. Just experiment with that and you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. We're gonna leave that one right there, we need him. So you're also going to need a pen or some kind of a writing utensil and a sharp X-Acto knife. Be very careful. Please do not harm yourself in the building of this trick. So you're gonna place the nickel in the center of the, of the card back. You can kind of see where it is. You can line up the knees on the guys on the bicycle right there, the little angels on the bicycle. You wanna get as close to center as possible. It's not, a, not necessarily has to be exact, but it just makes life a little easier for you if it is. So I'm just gonna draw a circle around here just like this. And now you can see what we have here is a very faint circle right where that nickel will be. And that's where we're going to cut with the X-Acto knife. All right, so now that you have the center cut out from the card, you're gonna turn it over, and this is why we wanna use a face card because you're going to be cutting along this blue line just enough so this coin's gonna be able to go through this little slot here in just a moment that we're gonna build. And you're gonna do that on the other side as well. It's gonna cut all the way through, but it's gonna be approximately from the head of the angel to the head of the angel across. So you're gonna start right about there and just pull that blade across, being careful not to cut yourself, please and stop right about there. And we could test this out right now to see if we have enough cut by placing the coin through this little slot right here. And it's a little tight right now, so I'm gonna take just a little bit more down this way, not much at all. And maybe just a hair more on this side. Now let's see how that fits in there. Perfection, just like that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this card in half. This is the dirty work that you just did and it's hidden on this side by that line. You can't tell where it is, but it's right there. You can kind of see through there just like that. My fingertip right there. 
and you're gonna fold this in half and just get the corners as close as you can to the uh, exact opposite corner and line it up to the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, all right? Now, when you do the trick, which we're gonna show you here in just a moment, uh, behind the scenes view of the tutorial, but you wanna see that you could put the coin in here just like this in the beginning, and you're gonna show it both sides. It's gonna be put back, but here's the secret what I will get to you in a better description. You're gonna actually put it here, and you're gonna see in a moment, they'll be able to actually see what it's like inside there if they were looking this way, and you'll pull it down. And we'll get to that secret part in just a minute. Stay tuned. So you have your car now uh, gimmicked and ready to go. You got the fold in there. You got that little flap that's right in the back and you're gonna fold the card for, or the front of the card, excuse me, goes towards you so that that slit is in the back that's facing you. Because what you're gonna do the first time you do this, you do exactly like you say you're going to do. I'm gonna place the coin inside the card. You can look inside and see that it's through between, maybe not so easy to see on the camera, but you'll notice it. And then you're gonna feed that coin down to your fingertips down here, can get a grip of it. And then you're just gonna let, pull it into that little slot right there, it's automatic, which is great because you can show this both sides right now. If you were here, you could actually pull on that coin and feel <clears throat> the tension inside there, which is really cool. So you're setting them up, showing them how it works. The second time, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that coin, it's gonna look just the same from the front, but from the back, what's going to happen, that coin is gonna be fed through that little slot. From the front, it looks perfectly normal. If you place your thumbs here and here and cover that part of the coin, you can briefly even show this, even though this coin is on the back side of the card. So it is coming through the slot right there, and you're gonna continue, this would be your point of view, which is my opposite point of view, I'm pretending to be you right now and you're me. So you're on the back side watching the dirty work happen. You pull it down, cover it up just a little bit until you get it into position, which is going to look like you just did a moment ago. Person had to pull on it a little bit. Now you just get ready for it and you give a little tug. And when you do, you want to scrape that coin forward slightly so you hear a tear. Listen. You should hear a little thing, and all that is is just flicking the coin off as you're pulling it down. So again, from the back, it's gonna be fed down right to your fingers, just like that. From the front, it's gonna look just like you did before. Do not turn it over this time because it'll give away the secret. Don't do that. And then when you're ready to go, you could do it this way, this way, whatever you wanna do. Uh, pull it off there, give that little snap, and you have yourself a really cool trick. You can open this up and you can lay it on the table maybe somebody will find that slot, but most likely if you don't make a big deal about it, put it in your pocket and do another trick. I hope you enjoyed that. Have fun, my friends. Well, hey, my friends, thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate you checking out my videos. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear your responses if you do this trick for somebody, uh, how it went over the first time and what great reactions you're gonna get. I'd love to hear those stories. Hey, until next time, I'm your host, Presto Paul, and remember, you gotta have fun. You'll live longer. <laughs>